two Melty Brains that can take it and make it. Hi, my name is Jason Vasquez. I'm from Team Whiplash, and my robot is Zero Zero. All my recent robots, I've been trying to build things that are unique. So this robot, I wanted to get as much weight as possible into the spinners. I made a robot that's a torque reaction walker or a bristle walker. I built each spinner like you would build a melty brain robot. So all of my components are in the weapons themselves. So the mass of the weapon even has like the mass of the battery, for instance. So for Zero Zero, when I first had this idea, I wrote it down and I just knew I had to do it. Pretty much each Zero is obviously identical to each other and I built it more like a product than any of my previous robots. Everything is interchangeable. If something breaks, I press order or I press print and it's ready to fight. I actually first had the idea to have two multibots, but of course they would likely hit each other and that's something you really want to avoid. So I thought if I can build a light connecting bar between the two, that would solve that problem and then they could move in an even simpler way than multi brain control. Look at the flex here. So they're attached by a pretty substantial piece of steel. Yeah. And even then, that steel is flexing under the gyroscopic forces of these two massive spinning pieces. All right, let's go right to cage two to see some action. Three, two, one. Fight, robots fight. We got Temporal fight. Terror taking on Double O. Oh! What a hit! Double O is two full-bodied spinners as a shuffler. It makes no sense. The physics are wonky, but two it hits like bricks. a ton of bricks. Depending on which side of Zero Zero hits you, the hit itself is going to be drastically different, whether it sucks you in and pinches you or pushes you out and spreads you apart. There was a little premature celebration from Jason Vasquez there. Temporal, dead in the water.